Hey folks, Dave here. Uh, thank you for stopping by for another video. I uh, hope everyone's well today. If you are new to the channel, I'll drop links to our projects and light burn tutorials down in the description, along with uh, any other pertinent links. And if you go through those and you have any issues, just let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to help out. So recently, uh, we've done a video on uh, placing shapes along a path in Liburn. And uh, I'll drop a link to that in the description. Uh, and now we're going to do a short tutorial on placing text along a path, which is, uh, is different. It's not the same process. Okay, so we're going to start by grabbing an ellipse and pressing the shift key and just draw out a perfect circle. Uh, and then click your selector tool. Uh, now you can leave this as a line or you can leave it, uh, you can change it into a tool. It just depends on what your project may call for. Uh, so I'm going to grab the text tool and just type out, this is text. Click the selector tool and I will make that a line so you can see it a little better. Now. Typically, when you put something on a path, you have to select it and right-click and convert it to a path. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to select everything together. Uh, and just real quick, if you select from the right, you get a green line. All you have to do is touch the objects you want to select, and it selects them all. If you come from the left, you get a red line, and it won't do that. You have to select, surround completely uh, what you're selecting. And they both have uh, useful uh, uses, I guess. So uh, we're going to select both. We're going to go up to Tools. We're going to click, uh, click <laughs> Apply to Path. And it puts it over here on the side, but that's okay. While it's selected, we're going to go to a range. We're going to rotate clockwise 90 degrees. And then we're going to go back to a range. And we're going to flip horizontally. Now we have our text on the top. Uh, now, if, uh, if you wanted the text on the inside of the line, you select only the text. Go up to the top right. And this Y alignment refers to the position of the line. Right now it's on the bottom. We're going to select and put it on top. So when you're placing text on a path, you can only use one string of text. So to get around that, let's say we want some text on the inside on the bottom. We're just going to copy this text. Now, once the text is on a path, you can't duplicate. If you right-click and you duplicate, you're going to get everything, and that's not what we want. So we're going to delete that, select the text, just do a copy, come over, and paste it. That way we get it back in its original state. Uh, I hope this is not behind my face. Let me uh, let me move everything over a little bit. Then we want to select the uh, circle. And for some reason, in this case, you can either copy or duplicate. And it will, it will do it. Uh, just one of those weird things. So now we're going to select both of these. And we are going back up to Tools, Apply to Path, and it puts it in the same position. So what we are going to do is first we're going to flip it. So go to Arrange. We're going to flip Vertical. And we're going to touch the text only. Go back up here to the Y position. We're going to put that path on the bottom. Now it is all together. So all you got to do is 
pull these together and let them snap in place. And they snap because if you go up to this device settings and make sure your snap to objects and snap to grid are on. Let me get that over here. So right here, these two you want on. So that is how you would put it on a circle if using the standard uh, bendy method of text didn't work. And, and for that, you would just type out bendy text or whatever you wanted to type out. And you can see that uh, there's a blue dot. Let me get this closer. There's a blue dot here, and you can grab that, and you can bend this. So in most cases, this will probably work for you, but your path may not be a uh, perfect circle. Let's go back to this dot. This dot is on the bottom now, but you can go up here, top right, and you can change the position of that, uh, that dot. So whatever suits you, put it there. Okay, we're just going to bend this a little bit. Move it out of the way. So if uh, with the bendy text, you can pretty much just do a loop in either direction, up or down. But if you had a, <clears throat> excuse me, if you had a really crooked line, let's draw out a straight line. So get your, uh, your drawing tool, draw out a line, left click, right click to let go of it, uh, hit your selector tool, and then lines are already a path, so it's already converted to path. So you can select it. Go over to the left to the node editor, click uh, click node editor, and you can see it, it'll pop up the uh, hotkeys. So let's just go in the center, <clears throat> and you can watch for your cursor to change. Once it changes, I'm going to hit I to insert another node, and then I'm just going to grab that and bend it a little bit. You can move this around. Uh, these uh, little handlebars will let you move it. But if you wanted to put text on there, you have to go back to the selector tool. Now you have your crooked line. And we can type something. This is wavy text. Maybe that's how you spell wavy. So then again, in this case, uh, you would select both, go to Tools, and go to Apply Path to Text. Uh, now, once you've done this, you can go back to your line. You can turn your nodes on again, and then you can move this line around. And you may have some really tight spots uh, that you're trying to put something in when you're doing a project. And this is a really sweet way to deal with that. You can, uh, again, you can take this text and you can change the position. You can put it middle. Wherever you need to put it, you can turn this line into a tool so there's no output. If you don't want to see it at all, uh, you can go up to the top right and click Don't Show. And it'll get rid of all of your lines. Uh, don't forget to turn that back on uh, so you'll not get confused uh, like I do the next time you try to do something. Uh, and you can put uh, you can put text pretty much on any shape. Some of the shapes, you know, may look weird, uh, but your uh, your project will dictate 
and you can play around with it. As you work through this, if you have any, uh, if you have any questions with it, anything I can help with, just let me know. Uh, I really appreciate you folks watching. I hope the video was helpful. And uh, y'all just uh, check back often for new videos. Take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.